All right, so let's look at 6b for this problem, um, or for this video. So 6b, we've got y equals 3 cos 1 half x minus pi over 4 minus 2. And then over here, I uh, have the same notes that we came up with in class, the general notes. So um, let's see. We can come up with some of these things pretty quickly. The vertical stretch will be 3. The horizontal stretch we don't have yet because it's not quite in the right form. If I write it like this, now it is in the right form. Or it's at least in the form that we came up with in class. So the horizontal stretch, or shrink, in this case it's a stretch, is going to be 1 over this value. Remember, you got to flip it, so it's actually 2. Horizontal stretch of 2. Um, the vertical shift is that negative 2 at the end, so it's 2 down, or you could write negative 2. And the horizontal shift is going to be pi over 2 to the right. Okay, And we're starting with a basic cosine function. So cosine does this. And remember, it goes from 1 to negative 1, 0. Actually, let me put the 0 down here. It goes from 0 on the x to 2 pi. Um, so let's see. If we, so if we just kind of go through the order of these things, vertical stretch by 3. So that's going to mean instead of 1 to negative 1, we're going to go 3 to negative 3. Horizontal stretch by 2. That is 0 to 2 pi. I'm really going to be going 0 to 4 pi now. Right. Vertical shift down 2. So instead of 3 to negative 3, now I'm going to go down 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1, and negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. And if I'm shifting to the right by pi over 2, I have to add pi over 2 to all my x values. So the 0 turns into pi over 2, and the 4 pi turns into 9 pi over 2. So now we can graph. So let's do a formal graph where you know our axes are in the right places. High point is 1, low point is negative 5. So that means that the line that goes down the middle of this graph will be at y equals negative 2. And if you think about it, originally it goes right down 0. Well, I shifted everything down 2, so now it should go right down 2. Um, I've got pi over 2 here. Um, I've got 9 pi over 2 down here. And I'm going to start at pi over 2, comma 1. I'm going to end right here. I know that right in the middle of the thing, I've got to be down at negative 5. So it's, the curve is going to look something like this. And then it'll continue. This point right there is going to be the average of pi over 2 and 9 pi over 2. So that's 10 pi over 2 cut in half. So it's 5 pi over 2, comma negative 5 right there. This point right here, pi over 2, 1. This point, 9 pi over 2, 1. These points are like these points. They're right in the middle. So the, the x value is going to be the average of pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2. So that's 6, wait, wait. Yeah, that's 6 pi over 2 when you add them, and then you've got to cut that in half. So it's 3 pi over 2, comma, and then the y value is negative 2 there. And this one's going to be 7 pi over 2, comma, negative 2. And now you've got the graph of this. And you could keep. You know, you should probably keep these going too so that you can tell that it doesn't stop. Okay, hope that helps.